And Christelle, mm -hmm. earlier today I got to head out to center where I talked to the F.L. Moffitt Primary School kindergartners mm -hmm. and you can see they were all excited. Yeah. We probably had 60 to 75. And wow. look at this. Thank you, Brad Lozak. And they all sign their names here on the inside. Oh, wow. That's so, so nice. And that actually looks like you, too, that picture. Yeah, it does, that, doesn't that's, it? That favors you a lot. Yeah, very good <laughs> job to them. Great job. I know they enjoyed having yes. you out there. All right, thanks so much, Brad. You bet. Well, I want to go back to that story Brad was talking about, about the Kite Fest. Excitement is building for tomorrow's Helping House Kite Fest at the Nacogdoches Airport. This is a free family event that brings awareness during National Autism Awareness Month. East Texas News 9's Donna McCollum visited the school to see how community support is making autistic children happier. Good evening to you, East Texas. I'm Christelle Phillips. Thank you for joining us. Human remains found in Tyler County over the weekend may belong to a mother and son that went missing nearly two years ago. The money and I'll show you a good rodeo right now. The Nacogdoches Pro Rodeo and Steer Show is underway. Tonight is KTRE night and right now we are live at the County Expo Center. East Texas News 9's Michelle Reed joins us now. And Michelle, I know folks are grabbing their hats and boots ready for a night of excitement because it doesn't get any better than this. That's exactly right, Christelle. Tonight is going to be a lot of fun and have it's going to be very action packed. The steer show doesn't actually start until 7:45 p.m., but I've got my cowboy boots on already and I'm ready for KTRE night. You, as you can see behind me, there are a few people here getting ready for tonight's performance, making sure everything is going to run smoothly. But we're expecting more rodeo fans to show up in about 30 to 45 minutes. Right now, we're learning more about a car theft and kidnapping investigation tonight. We first told you about this story last night on the East Texas News at 10. Lufkin police need your help, the public's help, to help them find a suspect that stole a truck from a Lufkin daycare while a child was in the back seat still sleeping. East Texas News 9's Kayla Beams joins us now with more details on this story. Kayla.